All right, we're going to take a look at weather, but you know what? I can say I wouldn't want to be outside today. It's the whole be fun. downtown campaign, not today. <laughs> not this Monday. This is nap weather. Perfect on a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that sogginess. Yep. We're not going to shake it anytime soon, though, unfortunately. And for some folks in the DMV, tomorrow it's going to be a wintry mess in the morning. Let's break it all down. This is a complicated storm system, folks. Now, first and foremost, this is what we're talking about that you're going to have to deal with as you step out the door. The rest of the afternoon today, misty, foggy, really, as you look out from our live camera back toward Roslyn here. The district has been surrounded by this mist and fog all morning, and really, we're going to have a tough time wearing away completely at this, especially with more rain on the way later this evening. Now, visibility a little bit better as you head out toward Hagerstown. Still very gray, very, very cloudy as we do await the arrival of this next storm system, but but all in all, you'll find some fog and mist in parts of the region, others not quite. Now here's a breakdown. Again, this storm system that arrives late this evening and then lasts through Tuesday morning is mostly going to be a rain event for many of us. But if you are off to the north of I-70 and then west of I-81, we're talking about a switch over to snowfall for some folks up that direction. So here we have in the pink winter storm warnings for the mountains of Western Maryland and West Virginia. And then here in the lighter blue, these are winter storm watches. That does include Frederick County that lasts through tonight into Tuesday morning. And within these winter storm warnings and watches, that's where we could have the highest snowfall accumulation. Now, on top of that, right in between both of those, we have winter weather advisories, including Washington County back over toward Morgan County and also Hampshire County there in West Virginia. This is where snow is likely, but but it's going to be very elevation dependent whether or not any of that snow sticks to the ground. So that's where again, this is going to be quite a tricky storm system. Now on the satellite and radar picture, nothing's happening yet. We have a lot of clouds. We have some of that mist and fog, but that storm system is looming down off down to our south here. Plenty of rain is ongoing down across the Carolinas, the Gulf Coast states, and eventually this storm system begins to lift north. It brings rainfall with it and then as temperatures drop overnight tonight that's where we start to get that transition over to snow for parts of the region so here we go 5 to 9 p.m this evening going into the start of your monday night steady your rainfall begins across the entire region everybody will see rainfall at first but soon after midnight going into the early morning hours you get that switch to a wet snowfall in western maryland west virginia also portions of northeastern maryland with the steadiest snow and mixing going on right around that morning rush hour time frame. Now here in the district, there could be a few flakes by 8 to 9 a.m., but it's going to be very short lived. We do not expect any snow to stick to the ground closer to the metro areas because that precip starts to end by 9 to 11 a.m. Now here we go, folks on Futurecast. What I was just talking about 4 p.m. We start to see some of those pockets of rainfall popping up, and then as we get toward the 8 9 o'clock hour, there's that steady your rainfall building in and covering the entire area by 11 p.m. to midnight tonight. So downright soggy with some of that rain steady to heavy at times as you go toward I-95, the D.C. Metro. But here we are 3 a.m. There's that snow starting to pop up and mix in across the mountains and look at how it starts to really transition over to snow out to the west. Some of that snowfall pushes east as we approach 7, 8, 9 a.m. But the good news here is, folks, that snowfall, even if we do see some closer to D.C., it's over with by the time we hit lunchtime tomorrow. So this is going to be an overnight into your Tuesday morning type of event. So you just want to stay alert and watch out. Things are going to be messy out there through that time frame. We see conditions improve just in time for Valentine's Day, but we stay chilly as we go throughout the rest of your week.